Hello, I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMER2 News Update. U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents confiscated illegal and counterfeit drugs related to the coronavirus over the last eight weeks here in Baltimore and the surrounding area. The products came from the Middle East and Asia. They were headed to addresses along the East Coast. Last Tuesday, CBP agents confiscated 1,200 pills from Pennsylvania, not approved by the FDA for use in the U.S. Since late March, agents have confiscated hundreds of counterfeit N95 masks, along with thousands of unapproved or counterfeit test kits and medicines. A lot of people are still struggling to get their unemployment insurance benefits. Tuesday, the state Senate is holding a virtual hearing to address the ongoing issues. It's expected to go on for nine hours. More than 1,100 people have signed up to testify, but only the first 270 will be able to speak. If you didn't make the cut, you'll still receive an email to submit a video testimony. We spoke with lawmakers from the Budget and Taxation Committee about what they hope to get out of the hearing. We want to hear the patterns of concern, the things uh, where the system is breaking down, uh, where there are uh, issues that uh, we think we can provide some insight and opportunity that where citizens uh, can and really help be part of their own government. The hearing is scheduled to start at 1 p.m. It'll be live streamed on the General Assembly's website. We have a link on WMER2news.com backsplash Rebound Maryland. Well, you can now stay home while repping your favorite teams. The Orioles have joined the Ravens in making their own face masks with the team logo on them. You can purchase the mask on fanatics.com. The store and Major League Baseball will support the All In Challenge Foundation by donating proceeds from the sales. A chilly start to your Tuesday with morning temps in the upper 30s, lower 40s. We'll be at 46 by the time most folks get on the roadways and then into the upper 50s as we head into the afternoon. Lots of sunshine and that's going to help us get up to 60 degrees far high across most of the area with some temperatures a little bit cooler in the higher elevations to the north. Seven day forecast shows we're expecting it to be breezy tomorrow, but gradually warming as we push into your Wednesday. By Thursday, a warm front starts to bring the 70s back, but we're going to be tracking the chance of showers. And then we're into the 80s as we head into the weekend, watching for isolated showers and thunderstorms through Sunday. Daytime highs by Monday in the upper 70s. Stick with us, stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. You can watch live radar, get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Sweet. This WMER2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.